you don't want to be the downer person around everybody, but it's, it's so hard sometimes when you live the way that you live and it's, it's um, daunting. Surgery for patients with chronic pancreatitis is aimed at alleviating pain in general. That's the number one indication for surgery. And so all of our patients that we consider for the surgery have severe debilitating pain. In general, they often take daily narcotic pain medications. Many of them are in and out of the hospital because medicines by mouth aren't enough and they need IV pain medicines to control their pain. And, and all of them just aren't able to function in a normal way. Islet cell transplant is for patients who are already undergoing extensive pancreatectomy for uh, pancreatitis. They also have, um, have exhausted all other means of treatment. So they've all been through all the different medical treatments, including any endoscopic managements that we can do before we consider surgery for them. As soon as we're able to remove it, we then put it immediately on ice in the back table in the operating room and in a special solution that helps to preserve the pancreas. Um, we prepare it on the back table and then we put it in a special, um, a special container that has this solution and ice and then we put it in a cooler and then we walk it over to the clean cell facility. And there our islet scientists work for three to four hours and do a special process where they isolate the islet cells. Those are the cells that make insulin and they separate those away from the rest of the pancreas and put those cells into a special solution in an IV bag. And then that IV bag is brought back to the patient now four hours later. So they're through with their surgery, they're in the ICU, and we're carefully managing their blood sugars and, and keeping them stable after surgery. We bring them back and we meet the, the patient meets their islet cells in the uh, radiology suite where they then uh, undergo infusion of the cells. The way that they infuse them is they go in through the patient's side into their liver with a catheter and the catheter, we use the catheter to put the islet cells into the portal vein which then leads to the liver. Um, the islet cells then set up shop in the liver and start to make insulin usually in one to two weeks time. About 25 percent, somewhere between 25 and 40 percent of patients after surgery will not need any insulin long term. They will not be diabetic. However, that means 60 to 75 percent of patients are diabetic after the surgery. And so it's important that patients always consider themselves diabetic afterwards. And when considering this procedure, uh, patients should understand that they have a significant chance of becoming diabetic. I would trade that a hundred times over. <laughs> you know, trade my pancreatitis for diabetes any day. When we harvested our pancreas, we got a, a, a large number of islet cells, and so the transplant went very well. She did very well after surgery. She was in um, good shape nutritionally, which was helpful for her recovery. And then uh, and she had sort of a seamless recovery after surgery, which we're, th we're thankful for. From what I understand, my, my islet cells are already working. Um, they're, they're doing a good job. We've even had a, um, I've only had to receive insulin one time and um, while I've been here. In general, uh, the numbers are around anywhere from 85 to 90, greater than 90 percent of patients uh, experience significant pain relief after the surgery, pretty routinely or pretty uniformly in the, day, in the literature in terms of um, the experience at other centers and, and our experience here so far. I feel so much better than I ever thought that I'd feel um, coming out of the surgery right now, wow. There are a, a handful of centers in the United States and in the world that are performing islet transplant after pancreatectomy. Um, we, we are one of the larger centers or busier centers doing this procedure currently. Uh, I think we're the second busiest uh, in the country currently. Um, but we are happy to have the multidisciplinary effort that uh, makes it um, optimal to treat the chronic pancreatitis patient. I know. Okay. Aww. It gives you a hope of what's to come. Thank you so much.